his uh, version of the trials and tribulations of being Grant. It's going to start right here at the boat dock. At, um, at not low, low tide. It's at least low tide. If it's coming in or no it's still going out so it's going to get lower um, also supposedly like we have storms blowing in so it ought to be interesting the reason i started this here now is because right over there where the heron is like a lot of fish were busting right up under the bridge. And I don't know if uh, sheep had bust up about on the surface or not, but something was busting up real bad. And you can see where the channel is. Right there. Yak, yak, yak. Let's get to it. I'll pin to this uh, in a bit. It looks like somebody's way over there. Like, right over there at the foot of the bridge, center of the screen. I don't know. That's usually where they uh, low tide. They're over there, and then they'll way over on the other side of the bridge. The problem is, is this island that goes. You can see through the bridge there. It's a little uh, oyster bed. It's got sea uh, marsh grass on it. It extends all the way right down into and under the bridge and then all the way out into there. There's a channel that's on the other side of it. And that's how the ferry over there, those are those uh, round hat looking buildings that I was talking about the other day. So that's Buckingham Boat Ramp. The oyster beds are all exposed out there. So let's get at it. Okay. Memorial Day. Or Memorial Day weekend. Friday. And I don't know if you can see all the way out there. But that is bumper to bumper. On the flyover. The secret, you know, local way in. And then right there beside it. That is the uh, is regular 278 coming over the, this is the first bridge this is Mackie Creek and it is a freaking zoo oh, Lord have mercy doesn't look that busy it's up behind that rail you can't even get in there it is freaking crazy when I get up there I'll uh, probably uh, pull this out and do another quick video I've been going out that way towards uh, the broad river and check Chessie or check a chat whatever jerk a jerk I'm gonna go this time I'm gonna go in this way and go out to May River so anyways that's the way I'm gonna go go get my stuff and get it out here okay I'm out here that over there is Windmill Harbor, if you're familiar with this area at all. And that's the uh, second bridge. And uh, back that way is Hudson's. And, uh, boat dock, boat landing, and, over there. and back over there is the ramp that I came in on. If you look at the traffic on that bridge, stop and by non-stop I mean non freaking stop it's gonna be some trick in that anyway it would appear that my rants needs a chirp a chip in it snaps a chirp a chip
something small right over there and uh, I didn't set it real hard because I really didn't know it was on there. And I was just reeling it back in to uh, recast and realize that there was something on there. And just about the time I realized there was something on there, he realized or she realized she was on the hook and fought like hell and got off. So, zero and one. It is uh, 6.05 in the afternoon, Friday, Memorial Day weekend, and it is a freaking zoo out here on the water. Where I'm at, I'm protected, but back just on the other side of that grass is the, uh, like the jet ski racetrack, and people come hauling ass in. Back up there is Hilton Head, and back over that way further is uh, the busky so, and I don't know if you can hear this but a lot of them it's black and some fish but I'm right here I think there's something right over there so I'm going to put this down and throw something over there and see what's going on check its temperature and it looks like right over there alongside the grass. Now, the one time that I decide I'm not bringing cigar mullets or minnows for a cut and bait, this is the perfect place for it. But like I said, this is all new area here. Just kind of exploring it. And, uh, anyways, throw some more in and Sweet mother God. Every slip is taken. So, well, it looks like I'm just, you know, generally videotaping this stuff. What I'm actually doing. vehicles that are next to me. So if anything happens, I know exactly where the ass weapon belongs to. And all my stuff is solid. I don't know. I just don't trust uh, tourists yeah I guess that's not fair so anyways about to get out on the water more later okay a little later on Sunday the 24th that is Pickney Island there I'm a little ways out I'm not that far it looks like there's quite a bit of stuff happening over there along the grass um, and I brought my rod and stuff like that and I don't think I want to throw in right there just for whatever reason it's uh, some exercise and just splashing around out here. Not particularly, uh, I don't know, the whole uh, dragging fish around or not. Right there. Now this whole section right along through here A lot of bait fish jumping. Looks like a lot of mullet. But I think I'm going to go that way. And uh, go out to that boat ramp that's out there. It's 
probably uh, they're probably jumping around and getting shrimp and molinar. And uh, I'm marking quite a bit of bait. And there's a couple of pretty big ones down in there. Only about five feet of water. And all my rigs are set up for about that depth. So I could. But I'm not, just not feeling it right this second. So. If I was to do it, it'd be like right over in there. Quite a few jellyfish out here. this point that would probably be a good place also. There's a couple Hobie dudes back there. One looks like he's in an outback and the other one's in a PA. I don't know if you can see them or not. I gave up that spot so they could go over there. And it's directly across from that boat over there. And like I said, I just don't know if I'm feeling the whole dragging fish around or just get some sun and some exercise. Uh, I'm actually kind of feeling the whole just get some exercise idea. So probably put this away and uh, we'll see. This would be a nice uh, right now too. I'm thinking. But there's another place right up over here that I think I'm going to go hit and maybe lay up in there for a little while and uh, soak some bait see what's happening so let me, uh, let me close this down turn in some uh, Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings and the Highwaymen Waylon and Willie and uh, I will talk to you shortly